been a success for I'd say over nine years. We've been able to, it started with a group of guys that were, that, that had mentioned it to me and, and, and so we got it started in this old building and uh, it was just some, some tarps and, and, and some, some scary things here, here and there and uh, from there it built to this and it's a way to bring, bring the community in and the kids in and keep them in this in this area here safe with because uh, we, we have a lot of police presence and we have a lot of uh, officers patrolling around here so it's a way to get the majority of them here keep them safe and also have fun and scare them a little bit. And I hope y'all really have a good time. Here's going to be the slaughterhouse. What they do is put some air mattresses and they have you know they walk throw some body parts in it cover this the site it'll be all covered to the side. Important because of the community, you know, they give us a lot, they support us, and we're trying to get the kids to stay out the streets. So every year we do the same thing for Halloween, for Easter, we'll give out baskets, you know, uh, at the Civic Center. So it, it is important. We have to be united and then we have to get the support of the community. I enjoy it every year, and every year it's a lot bigger and we get a lot of bigger crowd, and, uh, and we get scarier customs every year. So it, I enjoy it, it's fun for me, and I think. It, Sergeant Sosela, he does an awesome, and every year we try to figure something else to bring to the haunted house. And next year it's going to be a little bit bigger. It's volunteers from our community that makes all of this successful as well. But these two have made this haunted house a complete success with their volunteer work. Community uh, Halloween carnival has been a success because of the haunted house the kids look forward to it and they these two have devoted so much of their time making it a success for it to be successful for a community